but Alfa Tauri, the Italian team based just outside of Bologna in Italy, are absolutely rapid and Gasly is going to potentially move to the front row here comes towards the line now on the long start straight he's getting a bit of a slipstream from his teammate and he only goes fourth in the end so lost quite a lot of time in the final third of the lap but the now provisional grid is Leclerc, Hamilton, Verstappen, Gasly, Sainz, Norris, Perez, Sonoda, Alonso, Bottas the top 10. So that was a 41.5 put your P2, Leclerc 41.2 um, quite a decent toe in the final sector from Hamilton. Yeah, you need to be a little bit more active in the last sector, mate, to tell me, like, that I'm catching and how much. So we need to get a bit closer. Close. I need a toe, so tell me what to do. Bottas is desperate for a toe. Valtteri Bottas is absolutely desperate, but I think he's the, he's the first car out on track. He's basically coming to a halt, and then he's going to want to try and get behind a car, but no car's going to want to go in front of him. They're all now slowing behind Bottas, and no one wants to overtake him. Gasly might, but they're all coming to a halt, and Leclerc does now. So Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari goes to the front of the queue. He's on provisional pole position, but he's going to be the one punching the hole in the air for everybody else behind. Jenny? race director's notes were very very clear about this they didn't want to see tomfoolery as we would call it with people going slowly and trying to create a gap and slipstreaming it comes into effect around turn 16 though they're not there yet no exactly and by that time they'll have had to get it sorted so it doesn't really matter i don't think but leclerc is at the front of the queue and uh, one more lap for everyone imagine if leclerc took a second pole for ferrari in a year where they have no real pace <laughs> and then suddenly they're taking all these poles imagine if you hit the wall well, yeah. on this lap at the front of the queue now <laughs> yeah. he's got to the down front of the queue down 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 surely not <laughs> one lap for everyone to go still big bunches mercedes have not orchestrated this as well as they did on the first run i don't think hamilton well, is tucked in behind his teammate now we've got chaos coming through the final corner at turn 16 everybody's basically at a standstill coming through the final corner their laps are ruined aren't they Pierre Gasly, his lap is sure, well, surely these laps are ruined because they're not going quickly enough through turn, the final corner at turn 16 to be quick enough coming down towards turn one. It's only a short blast once you cross the timing line, but that's not ideal for a lot of the cars out there, I don't think. Leclerc has clear air and is starting his final lap. Hamilton is just coming around the final couple of corners. Uh, Bottas is starting a flying lap now. Here we go last chance around this Baku circuit in Azerbaijan to secure pole position for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Leclerc has it at the moment provisionally and Leclerc's just on the fastest first sector. There's a yellow flag out there in the first sector and uh, there's a red flag and it's, it's uh, Sonoda in the wall. Sonoda in the wall and Leclerc's on, and uh, Sainz is off as well in the Ferrari. Sainz has damaged his front wing. Red flag is out. That is going to be the end of qualifying. Charles Leclerc will start on pole position for the second race in a row and for the second race in a row it's come thanks to a red flag in the final stages. Leclerc pole, Hamilton second on the grid, Verstappen will be third, Gasly fourth, Sainz fifth, Norris, Perez, Sonoda, Alonso and Bottas the top ten. Bottas will be starting tenth on the grid for Mercedes. We were all thinking was it Leclerc when the red flag came out weren't we? But it wasn't this time. But he's got two poles in a row for Ferrari. Where has this come from? And actually credit to Leclerc. He's just done the fastest first sector of anyone on that sector as well from the front of the queue. What's happened then for Sainz and uh, Sonoda? Have they come together being super tight or have they just had their own incident? Sonoda was coming down into the 90 degree left hand corner at uh, turn three and he's just gone in too hot plowed into the wall exactly like uh, Daniel Ricciardo did and I wonder if was Sainz unsighted as he came through no he's had his own lockup and fully spun Carlos Sainz into the into the wall this guy crashes ahead of me I yeah. just the focus uh, right. okay so Sainz has kind of been distracted because he knows that Sonoda's going to be in the wall around the other side. Stamps on everything, locks the rears, round he goes. Could have been a much bigger crash for Sainz that. Backing it into the wall at turn three. He did hit the front and then the rear. But he still starts fifth at the moment. That's not too bad. Charles Leclerc on pole position. I'll tell you who the big losers are today. Red Bull. Third and seventh for yeah. Red Bull. And for all the practice... 
If they'd have been, if they, if, if, if Red Bull were one-two, Verstappen ahead of Perez, none of us would be surprised. No, they were, they were favourites heading into qualifying. Yeah. Mercedes, would they even get two cars into the top ten? <laughs> Just about. Bottas starts tenth, but Hamilton is on the front row from nowhere, and he starts ahead of Verstappen. Wow. What and a, he's got huge straight line speed. Yeah. What a remarkable Grand Prix this is going to be tomorrow afternoon. A second pole position in a row for Charles Leclerc. He took pole for his home race in Monaco two weeks ago, but couldn't take the start of the Grand Prix after picking up damage in a crash. He will look to start from pole tomorrow. His ninth pole position in Formula One. Lewis Hamilton second. Max Verstappen and the Red Bull team will be so frustrated. They were four points clear of Hamilton at the top of the championship. They will now be starting behind Hamilton at the beginning of the race tomorrow. Hamilton second, Verstappen third. And where has that pace come from for Lewis Hamilton? Because Mercedes looked nowhere yesterday. They have now managed to qualify Hamilton second, but Bottas still down in 10th position. We'll have a full reaction, which you'll be able to download later on the Checker Flag podcast. But it'll be Leclerc for Ferrari, who starts on pole position for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix tomorrow. Take that one. What a net. Yeah, what an effort, guys. What an effort. And that is Hamilton's team radio, and that second place will be probably feeling a bit better than a lot of his pole positions. But it will be Charles Leclerc that starts on pole tomorrow for the Grand Prix, Ellie. That's a shame. That is a shame because Paul has just 